The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot, as well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could be possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome back to a new foes appeared. Today, I am going to talk about a foe I think makes sense to be a future addition of the Smash roster, and even if this foe isn't talked about by many people as a future contender for Smash Bros, I think this character does make sense to be in a future Smash game. If it's not Smash 6, Smash 7 is when I see this character likely coming to the roster. And if you want to know who it is, take a look at this. That's right, Klonoa is who we are going to talk about today. Even though Klonoa isn't as talked about for the Smash roster compared to a few other contenders like um, Dante from Devil May Cry, Crash Bandicoot, or even Master Chief, I think Klonoa would make a fun addition to the roster. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the moveset, the neutral special, we have Wind Bullet. Straight ahead, Klonoa fires a bullet into the wind. If it strikes an opponent, Klonoa draws near to them, creating space for throws and combinations. For the side special, we have Moo Throw. Using the Wind Bullet, Klonoa grabs an enemy or something nearby and launches them forward, and Klonoa tosses a little Moo opponent in place of an adversary if none is available. For the up special, we have Hover Jump. With a little more horizontal control than Pit's recovery move, Klonoa uses his huge ears to hover higher. Enemies he travels through may also sustain slight damage as a result of this. For the down special, we have Phantom Boost. When Klonoa slams his ring into the ground, a tiny shockwave is created that damages foes and gives them a slight knockback. As Klonoa is deployed in the air, it dives down fast and produces a shockwave as it lands. And for the final smash, we have Dreamstone Blast. Large Dreamstones that float above the stage and shower smaller Dreamstones that burst on contact are summoned by Klonoa. The last big Dreamstone then falls, setting off a huge explosion that severely damages everybody in its path. For the alts and the Kirby hat, we have 
the default alt being classic Klonoa with blue shorts and a red collar. For the second alt, we have Lunatis Veil being Klonoa's outfit from Klonoa, which is a blue outfit with a yellow trim. The third alt would be Klonoa in a winter coat and hat, but with a recolor as well. Number four, we have Beachwear with Klonoa in swim trunks and sunglasses. Phantom Mile colors, well, we have Klonoa in green and yellow from Klonoa door to Phantom Isle. For the sixth alt, we have Cursed Klonoa with a darker color palette with red eyes. For the seventh alt, we have Pastel Klonoa with soft pastel colors for a more whimsical appearance. And for the eighth alt, we have Monochrome Klonoa, a black and white outfit resembling a classic cartoon character. And for the classic mode route, we have Journey Through Dreams. Round one, we have Kirby. Round two, we have Yoshi. Round three, we have Villager. Round four, we have Mega Man. Round five, we have Pit. Round six, we have Sonic. And the final round, we have Master Hand and Crazy Hand. And for the stage, I went with Vision Plateau, a stage that was influenced by Phantom Isle's vibrant dreamlike scenery and floating platforms. The stage has a vast central space that alternates between different themes from the Klonoa series. And it has several floating platforms of varying styles. Dream stones are a sporadic when collected and they grant small benefits as well. So guys, what did you think of Klonoa? So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future video. BB-8, out.